this video will be uh, demonstrating the uh, membrane replacement. Um, we previously showed you how to do a filter change. Uh, occasionally you will include the, filter, the membrane replacement along with a filter change, but we've isolated it for these videos to give you an idea. The membrane replacement, we recommend um, the RO membrane should be changed when the reject when it rejects less than 75% of the total dissolved solids. Um, every dealer, every area kind of has their own regiment that they go through and when they determine if the membrane should be replaced or not. Uh, most membrane manufacturers say the life expectancy is between three to five years. Um, we do recommend that once your TG, TDS rejection is around 75 that the membrane membrane be replaced. Um, how you do that is, uh, and again for the video purposes and for easier access, I've just extended all the lines from underneath the sink up to the countertop. Uh, you want to shut off your feed water supply, turn off your storage tank, drain any pressure. It's a little easier if you just pop off the prolonged contact filter and remove the, the membrane from at least one of its clips. You want to take off the red line that feeds the membrane. And unscrew the housing cap. housings cap removed. There is a hole in the membrane where you can stick a, a small screwdriver in to get a little leverage. And just pull out the membrane itself. Once that membrane is removed, I'm going to inspect the inside of the membrane housing. Your replacement membrane from HEG will come similar to this. Um, you want to be very careful with this. The, the membrane is very fragile and delicate. Um, when removing it from the package, be careful not to touch, pinch, drop this housing, especially the, the blue part. Uh, when reinstalling, you want the double O-rings to go in first. Fill it kind of go into place. You want to push down, make sure it's seated as best you can. There are two O rings. There's a housing cap O ring. You want to inspect it. And the second O ring is right here on the housing itself. These typically don't see a lot of wear and tear. The way you have the cap off, it's a good idea to check them, make sure everything's in good shape. When you reinstall the cap, as you tighten it down, that will push the membrane and seat it fully. You don't need to over tighten this cap, just hand tight is sufficient. Reinsert it into the clip, check your line. Reinstall the tubing, insert your prolonged contact filter, and again you'll want to dump a storage tank or two once the unit's back into operation. We also recommend when replacing the, the membrane that you replace the drain restrictor. The drain restrictor is located on the back underneath side of the RO. You simply just disconnect the existing one. You will need to reuse the fittings. 
and if you look, typically they'll say UAS and then a three digit number. You'll want to match it up. Um, the 380 stands for um, milliliters per minute, um, and this number must be matched up with the gallon per day membrane. So if you were to put a 50 gallon per day membrane, you would definitely need to match up the correct drain restrictor for that membrane. The H3500, we currently use a 36 gallon per day membrane, which equivalates to a, a 3880 milliliters per minute flow restrictor or drain restrictor. the direction of flow, reinstall new Teflon tape, reinstall the fittings back into the drain restrictor. One side will typically have a straight piece, the other side typically has an elbow. fittings don't have to be extremely tight. Check your lines. Make a, a fresh cut if one of the lines is damaged. Once you have your new membrane, your new drain restrictor, turn the feed water back on. Check for leaks. Checking for leaks may take a couple minutes. At this point, the RO is ready for operation. Um, I do recommend you dump two to three storage tanks. Uh, typically, most dealers will instruct the customer um, on how that operation takes place. It'll basically take all, two to five hours for the storage tank to fill up. Uh, once the, the uh, RO shuts off and you stop getting the uh, reject water at the air gap, just inform the customer to completely drain the storage tank by lifting the handle up. Once the tank's depleted, uh, shut it off, let it fill up again another two to five hours, and then dump that storage tank. Then it's safe to actually start using the RO water at the spigot.